What is up, Pokemon Beat audience? My name is Axion Blitz. Most likely you don't know me. I am a fairly old YouTuber. I've been here for about two years and a half. I really enjoy doing what I do. I love doing Wi-Fi battles. I am a designer and I am Portuguese, so if anything here does not sound as good to you, I'm really sorry. But okay, enough talking about me. Let's get started with the team preview. As you can see, it's gonna be a UU match against one of my dearest bros. My name is Exclamation. He's Portuguese as well, so you should check him out. The link will be in the description. But oh well, I'm using a Choice Scarf Victini, Choice Banded Heracross, Resto Chesto Calm Mind Cofagrigus, Normal Specially Defensive Spikes, Roserade, Agility Kingler, and Nasty Plot Ampibomb. Now, on his team, potential threats are obviously going to be his Needle Queen and his Victini. I don't know which set he's carrying on Victini. Maybe Choice Banded, maybe Choice Scarf, maybe Life Orb, even can be Expert Belted. His Needle Queen, I'm fairly sure that is life orb but seeing his team I'm really I was really thinking that his Victini was a choice car for you will see later on that is not the case but the rest of his team I can handle it really really damn well because my Heracross can destroy his team after killing his freaking Slowbro with close combats I can destroy his team since I'm banded and if I kill something I will get the Moxie boost which is amazing so well I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started with the battle Alright, so I'm gonna lead off with my Victini, he's going to lead off with the Slowbro, and this is a horrible matchup for me because I know Fusion Bolt will not do anything to the Slowbro since he's a defensive beast, so I'll go right off the bat for the U-turn just to get that switch initiative, and it's gonna take a good chunk of damage on the Slowbro. Now, going to my Roserade, known for a fact that even if he wants to go for the Toxic, the Thunder Wave, for the Fire Blast, for the Scald, I know I can take them all, and even if he wants to get a Burn on the Scald, I have a Natural Cure. So, predicting him to go into his own Roserade, expect me to go for the sleep powder or even for the grass stab in the form of giga drain i'll go for these spikes now i will stay in expecting him to go for his own sleep powder but unfortunately for me he is a spike set as well so i have to switch right out of there and go into mrs boss she's choice bandit and she's ready to destroy some shit as you saw on the team preview i'm not using a scarfer not a scarfer but i'm not using a rapid spinner not even a stealth rocker so this was a teammate totally out of random, so I'll go for the close combat, expecting him to switch out and do his hitmon top because the switch was really damn obvious, and I know for a fact that close combat from Choice Bandit Heracross is a clean 2 hit KO on normal max HP, max special defense Rosary. So he went into his hitmon top on the off chance that I wanted to go for the Mega Horn, but now I'm going to over predict and I'll go into my Rosary knowing that he will go into his Slowbro wanting to preserve his hitmon top from my close combats and he knows that his Slowbro can take close combats better than anything on his freaking team so I will start to setting up I will start to set up more spikes while he actually goes for the side shock which really damn surprised me I was expecting him to go for or for the thunder wave I don't know if he packed that or for the fire blast or even for the skull fishing for the burn expecting me to over predict and I was expecting him to stay in expecting me to not go for the giga drain if that makes any kind of sense but he takes out my roserade which was really damn unfortunate but now I will go for the mega horn expecting him to go into his hitmon top as death flutter because I could easily go for the close combat knowing that the switch was really damn obvious into his hitmon top. Now I'll go into my Victini knowing that he will set up the rocks and Victini I have two layers of spikes and I have one layer of stealth rocks now on the field. I thought that Victini was going to be pretty much useless since he would take 43% each turn that he went would go in on the field. But right now I was actually expecting him to over predict expecting me to go for the U-turn but I actually stay in and I go for the choice card to recreate, it gets a critical hit and now Victini is living by its name like <laughs> like the, the little name is of course though. I'll go now into my Anubis expecting him to go, I really don't know what, but he went for the Toxic that does not bother me that much since I have the rest of Chesto and I have Calm Mind stuff, but this is gonna uh, lower my survivability by a lot. He will go now into his Roserade and I was expecting him to do that so I went for the Calm Mind and this is gonna be a key play right now. I will go for the rest since the poison is racking up and the only chance that he will have to kill my Anubis right now is to go on his Victini. So he will go now into his Victini, he's going to take a fuck down from the spikes which is awesome and I'll be able to get the rest off and wake up. Now if he gets a critical hit on my Anubis I'm gonna get pissed and it's gonna be really damn hard to deal off with this Victini but he goes for the recreate and I live it with 73 HP which was amazing I am max HP max defense and he told me this was a choice bandit adamant Victini recreate 270 power after stab nothing to play around and my freaking Cofagrigus lived that with relative ease you know because if 73 
is a pretty cool number. So he will go now into his Needle King, kill me off with the Earth Power. And right now I saw on his team that if I managed to get a nasty plot, I would sweep his entire team. But unfortunately, he will go for the freaking Choice Scarfed Earth Power and it's gonna kill my freaking Ampibomb, which made me really sad. I really wanted to sweep with my nasty plot. Ampibomb, unfortunately, is not the case. So go into my Mrs. Boss. The only chance that I have to kill him is going for the Earthquake. I will go for that. And I was for certainly sure that he would death fodder his Hitmontop since it was really low on health and probably wouldn't be able to rapid spin anything. So went for the Earthquake and I got the Moxie boost. But since he got the Intimidate on me, I was like, well, I am at plus two. But at that moment, I forgot that I was at only plus one. So I went for the Earthquake. I got a critical hit and I'm pretty sure critical hits and nullify the stat changes and boosts. So Freaking Slowbro lived, I think, a plus two Earthquake critical hit from a freaking Heracross, which was damn amazing, man. Don't underestimate Slowbro's uh, defensive bulk. So, I'll go now into my Kingler, the star of the show, and I'll predict him to switch out into his Roserade as Deathwater, expecting me to go for the Rock Slide, and here is the key play. I managed to get a freaking Agility, which is gonna allow me to outspeed his Choice Scarf Nidoking, go for the Rock Slide, Sheer Force, Sly Force boosted, Easily gonna kill off Roserade since it has pretty crappy natural defenses. So I'll go for the Crab Hammer and I missed. I missed the Crab Hammer on his freaking Needle King and it kind of balances out for the critical hit with the Earthquake on his Slow Bro. Maybe if I had hidden got the critical hit with the Earthquake, maybe he wouldn't switch out. But right now my last Pokemon is gonna be my Victini and his last Pokemon is gonna be his Slow Bro. Slow Bro will take a lot of damage from the spikes and I was certain that this we create 135 after the resistance would be able to kill off the freaking Slowbro. Will it be able to kill? Go for the Vicry 8 and freaking Slowbro is going to live with a tiny bit of HP and it's gonna kill me off with the Scars. So it's gonna be a narrow one victory on his favor. Really damn good game. My name is Exclamation. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed my narration. It was kind of clumsy, you know, at the end. But okay, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you people later. Peace out.